Hi, Kevin here. It's brutally cold here today, so I'm going to fix a pot of Tuscan bean soup. It's a simple soup, but it's also a soul-warming soup. Now, I'm going to move you over to the stovetop so we can get started. All right, we're going to make the soup in this four-quart soup pot. This is enameled cast iron, but you could use any soup pot that you happen to have. And I have the pot over medium heat. The first ingredient is olive oil, two to three tablespoons. One, two, three. Then we're going to add some aromatic vegetables. I have one large onion that I diced up. And about one and a half cups of celery. This was previously frozen. and three medium carrots that I sliced, oh, about this thin. Give this a stir. It's very colorful. This mixture is called mirepoix in France. Onion, celery, and carrots. I don't know what it's called in Italy. All right, then I'm going to add a little salt, about half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I can always add more later if I need it. And some pepper. Okay, now one more stir. And then I'm going to lower the heat, actually as low as the heat will go, and then cover the pot. And we're going to let the vegetables sweat until they're somewhat tender. That's going to take about 10 minutes, so when that happens, we'll come back. Okay, the veggies have been sweating for 10 minutes, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, the carrots are tender. So these are good to go. Now I'm going to add garlic. What I have here is three cloves of garlic that I just roughly diced. You can add less garlic or more garlic. I did not add the garlic when I added the other vegetables because I did not want it to burn. Okay, now for the beans. So this is two 15.5 ounce cans of cannellini beans. You, you could use white navy beans if you can't find cannellini beans. And what I did was drain and rinse the beans in this little sieve. So in they go. Stir them about quickly, and then I want to add some chicken stock. This is actually chicken bone broth um, that I acquired after I cooked a whole chicken in the Instant Pot. And I did film that video, so you might like to watch it, and I will link it below. Let me grab my ladle. Now, this ladle holds a half cup, so here's half, here's one cup, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Well, guess what? I, I had four cups here. Okay, 
quick stir. Then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. About one teaspoon. This is going to give this soup a lovely perfume. And now I'm going to bring the soup to a boil and then I will lower the temperature and let the soup simmer with its lid slightly ajar for 20 minutes. So this soup really only takes 30 minutes from start to finish. And when this soup is done, we'll come back. Oh, don't worry if you don't have your own homemade chicken stock or bone broth. You can always use store-bought. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, the soup has been simmering for 20 minutes. So now I'm going to turn off the heat. Oh, and by the way, this smells just wonderful. It's garlicky and uh, can't wait to taste it. And now, the only thing left to do, and remember this is off heat now, is to add some greens. Now, typically uh, the soup has spinach leaves or kale, but I didn't have either, so I'm using some organic baby arugula. I'm going to put in, let's see, maybe three handfuls. Also going to spill a good deal of this. Pick it up, put it back in the pot, and then just stir it in until the leaves wilt, which they will do almost immediately. Wow, isn't this pretty? Okay, oh, maybe a little more arugula. we'll say four handfuls. You can put in as much or as little as you like. There we are. Okay, I'm going to put this in a bowl and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I toasted some thin slices of a baguette to accompany the soup. And here it is. Now, this soup is absolutely delicious just as it is, but if you want to take it over the moon, what you can do is drizzle it with some posh olive oil. By posh, I mean the really expensive stuff that you would use for dipping. Now, I bought this olive oil on my birthday and it was a special gift to myself, and I've been using it very sparingly. Okay, just a little drizzle. Not much. And then, take some Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it on top of the soup. There. Now I just want to have a little taste. Oh, you guys, this is so good. This is outrageously delicious. Here, let me talk with you. Yeah, so this soup, oops, too close. So this soup is what I call screamingly delicious. It's garlicky, it's nourishing, it's comforting, it's, well, it's the kind of soup you would want when your weather is like mine, brutally cold. All right, again, I'll put the list of ingredients in the description below. And, oh, I wanted to tell you that you can make this soup vegetarian by simply 
uh, substituting vegetable stock for the chicken stock. All right, ingredients in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.